Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of the 6th august the session will be very important and interesting for all of you so stay tuned till the end also friends don't ignore your own potential all right if you ever set a goal or set your eyes towards a particular goal, you should not second thought it. All right, you should always and always have faith in your potential. Be it anyone says that you cannot do it or you don't have do not have that power to do it. Ignore those person, not your potential. Always have faith in your potential. Also, friends, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you think the content that we are providing on daily basis is very good and up to the mark, then you can like this video. Also, you know our target that we want to achieve 15,000 views on our daily videos. So to help us to achieve that views, all you have to do is share the link of this video to two to three WhatsApp groups, be it your friends, be it your cousins, be it your neighbors. Let them know about Affairs Cloud. Let them know that there is a teacher at Affairs Cloud by name Vikas Rana who teaches current affairs there and is one of the best teachers and all and i assure you it is from my <coughs> i have that confidence in myself that all the students those who are studying from my videos or are studying from me have all the current affairs learned on the fingertips all right they are do if they are doing daily current affairs they are making notes daily they are doing the homework daily then i'll assure you that all the current affairs that we are doing are memorized to them all right apart from this friends you can comment below and let us know that if you think that we want us to continue with such sessions then let us know in the comment section and this will help us to motivate also and yes friends today a little bit i am having fever so please ignore my voice <coughs> also friends here is the answer for all the current affairs of yesterday's avantika sharma and hitesh but congratulations to both of you you have given the right answer for both uh, all the homework questions so best of luck for your future and best of luck for your preparation for whichever exams you are preparing for first question youth abhyas it is a military exercise that is held between india and which country youth abhyas this is an exercise that is conducted between india and united states of america all right highly important remember Recently, uh, this exercise will be conducted in the month of October 
in 2022 and the location where this exercise is going to be conducted is Uttarakhand. I repeat in Uttarakhand we will observe this exercise Yudh Abhyas on in October 2022. All right, highly important. Also remember this will be the 18th edition of this exercise that is scheduled to be held and the last edition of the exercise took place in October month only in 2021 and this exercise was conducted in Alaska that was in United States of America. Correct option is India and USA. Next question, which organization test fired indigenously developed laser guided ATGMS? ATGMS is your anti-tank guided missile. Anti-tank guided missile. So remember recently it was your DRDO that has DRDO that has tested fired and developed this laser guided anti-tank missile and it was delivered to Indian Army. Alright, I repeat. DRDO developed this as well as it tested this anti-tank guided missile. Alright, it was launched using Arjun tank. Arjun tank is your main battle tank. This was tested from where? This was tested from the state of Maharashtra. Alright, remember I repeat again. This is an anti-tank guided missile tested using the tank that is named Arjun. It is a MBT that is your main battle tank and DRDO is the organization that has developed this and tested this. Next, what is the name of the satellite developed by 750 girls across 75 ruler schools to be launched by ISRO? The name of the satellite is Azadi Set. ISRO is set to launch a small satellite uh, launch vehicle from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Shri Harikota. I repeat, ISRO is set to launch a small satellite launch vehicle from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Shri Harikota. It is the smallest and lightest commercial vehicle. It is the smallest and the lightest rocket that was built by ISRO. Alright, I repeat, this will be the smallest and lightest commercial rocket built by ISRO. The rocket will carry the Indian tricolor which will unfold in space to mark the 75th year of independence. The SSLV will carry EOS O2 an indigenously developed earth observation satellite and CubeSat Azadi set which was developed by 750 schoolgirls across 75 schools in rural India. This satellite will carry a special space song along with national anthem i repeat the name of the satellite will be azadi set important thing friend you have to remember here is that indian flag question can be asked that which country is recently sending their flag to space to mark their independence it will be your indian flag that will be sent into space to mark the independence all right to mark the 75 year of independence <coughs> next what is the repo rate after the August 2022 Monetary Policy Committee meeting? So the repo rate for August is 5.4%. Remember this. Next, which country conducted its largest ever military exercise around Taiwan? It is the China which conducted the largest ever military exercise around Taiwan. And it was because of US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that visited to Taiwan. Expect of the warnings of china that they don't want nancy Pelosi to visit uh, nancy pelosi to visit taiwan still she visited taiwan and that is the reason in retaliation china conducted its largest ever military exercise around taiwan so friends the first news is center has launched a state university research excellence scheme to create robust research and development ecosystem if you remember recently niti Ayog released a report that stated that india is the country that is spending least in terms of research and development also a research and development policy was adopted by which state it was karnataka that adopted or became the first state to adopt a research and development policy similarly remember a new innovative scheme named state university research excellence that is serb shore that is serb shore 
This was recently has been introduced by the Science and Engineering Board, a statutory body of the Department of Science and Technology under Ministry of Science and Technology. This State University Research Excellence, it is a new scheme that will foster collaboration for high-end research and to enhance research capabilities in a structured way in order to create a healthy research and development ecosystem in the states as well as colleges. Also remember this will offer research support to active researchers at state universities, colleges as well as private universities and colleges across India in order to conduct research in frontier fields of science, engineering and quantitative social science. Highly important. The new scheme will integrate with the university system into mainstream research and provide young faculty, mem faculty members across access to cutting edge researches. All right. So coming back, this Serb Shore. What is the full form of this Serb Shore? This Serb Shore stands for what? Highly important. It is Serb is your Science and Engineering Research Board and Shore. What will be sure? State University Research Excellence. Highly important. These uh, this Serb Shore was launched why? In order to bring research and development ecosystem into the state universities. Next, next is in a first all women Navy group complete surveillance mission over Arabian Sea. Five officers of Indian Navy created history by completing the first all women independent maritime reconnaissance and surveillance mission in the north of the Arabian Sea. The aircraft they used was Dornier, uh, Dornier 228. I repeat, as you see, can see the aircraft behind these women. It is what is the name of this aircraft? Dornier 228. All right. You have to remember this. Why? Question can be asked to you in such a way that recently a five women team has recently completed the surveillance mission over the north of Arabian Sea, which was the aircraft used by them. It was Dornier 228 aircraft. The first of its kind independent maritime mission show cast Nari Shakti in its real spirit. The accomplishment has paved the way for women officers in the aviation cadre to assume greater responsibility and inspire to for more challenging roles. All right. If we talk about the crew, the Dornier 22 aircraft was captained by Mission Commander Lieutenant Commander Anchal Sharma, who was accompanied by the team of pilots Lieutenant Shivangi and Lieutenant Apurva Gite. Tactical and Sensor Officer Lieutenant Pooja Panda and Sub Lieutenant Pooja Shekhawat. They are the part of the Indian Naval Air Squadron INAS 314 based at the Naval Air Enclave Porbandar, Gujarat. Highly important. All right. If we talk about this INAS 314, it is a frontline naval air squadron that operates the state of the art Donier 228 maritime aircraft. The squadron is commanded by Commander S.K. Goel, a qualified navigation instructor. All right, highly important. Who is the chief of naval staff? Admiral R. Hari Kumar is the current chief of naval staff. Moving on. Next, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated and laid the foundation stone for various projects of Srimad Raj Chandra Mission. I repeat. He has recently laid the foundation stone for various projects of Srimad Raj Chandra mission at Dharampur, Gujarat. There are few mission friends that you need to remember these projects. First is Srimad Raj Chandra Hospital in Valsad, Gujarat. Second is Srimad Raj Chandra Animal Hospital in Valsad. Third, Srimad Raj Chandra Center of Excellence for Women in Valsad. These are the three projects that you need to remember. All right. Who is the governor of Gujarat? Acharya Devrat. Then if I ask you, tell me some names of the national parks here. Gir National Park, Junagadh National Park, Black Buck National Park. Then Shorashtra National Park is also located here. Next, important friends, take a note of this. NHA National Health Authority has partnered with QCI that is your Quality Council of India for six months to accredit the rate and the health management information system. I repeat 
एन एच ए दैट इज़ योर नेशनल हेल्थ अथॉरिटी हैज़ पार्टनर्ड विद क्वालिटी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स टू एक्रगेट एंड रेड द हेल्थ मैनेजमेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम एंड लेबोरेटरी इन्फॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सोल्यूशन इंटीग्रेटेड विद आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल मिशन वेन एवर दिस आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल मिशन कम्स नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर हु लॉन्च इट इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय नेशनल हेल्थ अथॉरिटी एंड वॉट इज दिस आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल मिशन दिस विल कीप अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द डाटा ऑफ इंडिविजुअल पर्सन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव अ फेसबुक प्रोफाइल यू कीप अपडेटिंग योर फेसबुक प्रोफाइल एज पर योर विजिट टू एनी हॉस्पिटल एंड विजिट टू एनी लोकेशन विजिट टू एनी कैफे विजिट टू एनी ट्रेवल स्पॉट सो यू कीप ऑन एडिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मिंग पीपल सिमिलर इज योर आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल मिशन यू विल बी प्रोवाइडेड इन अ हेल्थ अकाउंट इन विच यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रोवाइड ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट योर हेल्थ इफ देयर विल बी अ टेस्ट इट विल बी अपडेटेड ऑन इट द रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट टेस्ट विल ऑल्सो बी अपडेटेड ऑन योर पर्टिकुलर हेल्थ अकाउंट इट सेल्फ सो सिमिलरली रिमेंबर एन एच ए नेशनल हेल्थ अथॉरिटी हैज पार्टनर्ड विद क्वालिटी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया फॉर फॉर द रेटिंग ऑफ द हेल्थ मैनेजमेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम एंड लेबोरेटरी इन्फॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम और राइट दैट विल बी इंटीग्रेटेड विद योर आयुष्मान डिजिटल आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल मिशन the national accreditation board for hospitals and health providers that is a constituent board of the qci is the responsible for national accreditation in the domain of healthcare here if we talk about some of the key points the complete accreditation exercise will be conducted in a phased manner where the first phase will focus on accreditation and rating of the hmis where is what is hmis we just saw hmis stands for your health management information system all right i repeat here the complete accreditation will be conducted in a phased manner where the first phase will focus on the accreditation and the rating of hmis solutions successfully integrated with ayushman bharat digital missions the other phases will also include subjective partner parameters and other categories of healthcare solutions like lmis health lockers health tech personal health record applications etc NHA in collaboration with QCI will develop a review plan and complete the accreditation and review at least 10 HMIS solutions both public and private that have successfully integrated with the Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission in the next 6 months all right so coming back friends you have to remember that national health authority has partnered with which organization it has partnered with qci that is your quality council of india for 6 months to accredit the and rate the health management information system as well as your laboratory information management system solution that will be integrated with ayushman bharat digital mission next next friends remember tamil nadu forest department has established a first of its kind urban animal rescue center that will be located inside the gindi national park that is in chennai tamil nadu i repeat recently tamil nadu forest department has established a first of its kind urban animal rescue center that is located inside the gundi national park chennai tamil nadu the rescue center which is a part of the gundi national park will get support from the veterinarians and foresters associated with it the rescue center has two big enclosures and three small ones for injured animals as a part of infrastructure improvement the center also got a new post mortem room recently tamil nadu government announced that a remodel of the gundi national park will be carried out with a cost of 20 crore rupees so if i repeat this what is the news that tamil nadu department tamil nadu's forest department established a first of its kind urban animal rescue center and this is located at Gindi National Park that is in Chennai Tamil Nadu next is remember HDFC HDFC has raised 1.1 billion dollar social loan for financing affordable housing segment i repeat HDFC limit has raised a the largest social finance issuance of 1.1 billion dollar from investors under the syndicated social loan facility at 3.3% coupon rate for financing affordable housing projects in india all right highly important friends mark this next next news is regarding max life insurance max life insurance has launched three in one protection plan that means this will basically a insurance plan only that will cover three things let's look at it 
मैक्स इंश्योरेंस लाइव मैक्स लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी लिमिटेड हैज लॉन्च मैक्स लाइफ स्मार्ट सिक्योर इजी सॉल्यूशंस अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव थ्री इन वन प्रोटेक्शन सॉल्यूशन ऑफरिंग द बेनिफिट ऑफ लाइफ क्रिटिकल इलनेस डिसेबिलिटी एंड एक्सीडेंटल कवर सो व्हाट आर द थ्री थिंग्स लाइफ इंश्योरेंस क्रिटिकल इलनेस एंड डिसेबिलिटी एंड एक्सीडेंटल कवर विल बी कवर्ड अंडर द स्मार्ट सिक्योर इजी सॉल्यूशंस All right, that is a three-in-one comprehensive protection solution that was offered by Max Life Insurance Company Limited. The offering aims at extending financial protection towards self-employed individuals, salaried, and other professionals. It is a combination of Max Life Smart Secure Plus plan that provides financial protection in any case of uncertainties in life with an accidental cover and Max Life critical. illness and disability health rider which will offer this is the second thing that we just saw that these will be combined so first thing is smart life uh, smart secure plus plan that has collaborated with whom max life critical illness and disability health rider so these two products join together to make a third product that will provide three in one protection solutions for life critical illness and disability and your accidental cover who will be the managing director and ceo of hdfc of uh, max life insurance company he will be prashant tripathi i repeat prashant tripathi is the current md and ceo of max life insurance company this was established in the year 2000 and where is the headquarter it is in new delhi next ad port AD Port Group that is based in Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates has signed a memorandum of understanding with Adani Ports and Special Economic Zones Limited for strategic joint investments in end to end logistics infrastructures in Tanzania I repeat AD Ports Group that is based in Abu Dhabi UAE has signed an MOU with which organization that is with Adani Ports and Special Economic Zones Limited for strategic joint investment in the end to end logistics infrastructure in Tanzania highly important also remember adani ports and special economic zone limited is the india's largest integrated ports and logistics company highly important pay attention here remember both the companies will provide development support for strategic logistics infrastructure and solutions which include rail maritime services port operations digital services industrial zone and the establishment of maritime academics in tanzania so all these infrastructure development will be done in tanzania you have to remember this this will boost potential investment to grow improve and promote end to end maritime and logistics ecosystem which will make tanzania a hub for the african region the strategic investment in tanzania is infrastructure and solution will also enable international companies to enter african markets which ultimately lead to improvement in the geopolitical relations of india and africa all right who is the head of adani ports and special economic zone limited or who who will be the ceo here he is karan adani this was founded in 1998 all right and where is the registered office it is in ahmedabad gujarat next next we will be talking about awards all right recently french government honors indian publisher kanan sundram with shaviler award i repeat french government has honored indian publisher kanan sundram with shaviler award this award is also known as the knight of the order of the merit and this award was presented to kanan sundram for his contribution to the publishing collaborations between india and france i repeat this award was presented to kanan sundram for his contribution to the publishing collaborations between india and france important remember this this is the knight of the order of the merit that is chevalier de award chevalier award de uh, chevalier de order award national de merit this is something written in your France all right this is the name of the France but remember the Chevalier award was presented to whom Kanan Sundaram and he was awarded for his contribution to the publishing collaboration between India and France highly important all right next one more thing when was this award presented 
for the first time in 1963 and this award is presented by the president of french republic next question and this is an important news we just saw you can see here a tank the name of this tank is arjun all right recently drdo is the organization that has successfully tested as well as developed the laser guided anti tank guided missile from the main battle tank that is arjun what is the name of this mbt that is main battle tank it is arjun from which this laser guided anti tank missile was tested and developed by drdo so question will be asked to you which organization developed this anti tank guided missile it was your drdo that developed this and also drdo that tested it the missile successfully destroyed the target at two different ranges with precision and the flight performance of the missiles were recorded by the drdo All right this ATGM that is your anti tank guided missile employs a tandem high explosive anti tank that is heat warhead to defeat the explosive reactive armor protected armored vehicles coming back who is the chairman of GRDRDO chairman of DRDO he is G Satish Reddy ji is the chairman of DRDO where is the headquarter of DRDO it is in new Delhi and DRDO is the organization that has successfully tested this anti tank guided missile and also developed this anti tank guided missile. Next, South Korea. South Korea has launched the first moon mission by the name Danuri. I repeat, on fourth of August, South Korea's first ever lunar mission that was launched was named Danuri. All right, it is the Korean Pathfinder Lunar Orbiter. The Nuri was launched on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. All right, it was launched from Cape Canaveral, and the name this the Nuri. What does this means? This the Nuri means moon and enjoy. All right, or we can say enjoying the moon. This is the meaning of this word the Nuri, enjoying the moon. Question will be asked to you that what is the name of the first moon mission that was launched by South Korea? It is the Nuri. The Nuri was launched into space using which rocket it was your spacex falcon 9 the ray name of the rocket is falcon 9 from which this particular dhanuri was taken into space highly important the lun uh, this lunar mission has been jointly developed by nasa and korea and korea aerospace research institute so remember it was nasa along with kari and kari is your Korea Aerospace Research Institute this is the space organization of South Korea All right friends moving on next next is China China has launched the terrestrial ecosystem carbon monitoring satellite an important step towards carbon monitoring in the environment China successfully launched a terrestrial ecosystem carbon monitoring satellite as well as two other satellites from the T1 satellite launch center that is in China this was 28th launch of China in 2022 the main payload was the terrestrial ecosystem carbon inventory satellite the two secondary payloads were the head 2G and Miang youth satellites the important thing here we need to talk about is the terrestrial ecosystem carbon monitoring satellite the significance of this is that the carbon monitoring satellite is primarily used for monitoring and the carbon content of the terrestrial ecosystem surveying it and monitoring terrestrial ecology and resources and monitoring the evaluating major national ecological projects all right what does this waste do is this will monitor the amount of carbon in a particular area or how can we reduce it by doing research on it and what are the uh, reasons why such an amount of carbon is there in a particular location what are the factors causing it also it can also collect multi factor remote sensing data on global forest carbon sinks improve the efficiency and accuracy of the carbon sink measurement and assist in the carbon peaking and neutralization efforts of china highly important regarding the detecting of carbon dioxide or you can suggest carbon into the atmosphere this terrestrial ecosystem carbon monitoring satellite i repeat this terrestrial ecosystem carbon monitoring satellite was launched by which country it was launched by china remember this it is one of the important question friends 
नेक्स्ट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट उत्तर प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट हैज़ रिसेंटली प्लान टू डबल डाउन द फार्मर्स इनकम अंडर द पंच मूरत योजना दिस पंच यूर मूरत योजना इज द गोल ऑफ डबलिंग डाउन फार्मर्स इनकम थ्रू द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव टेक्निकल मेजर्स एंड द प्रमोशन ऑफ को क्रॉपिंग मैथड्स वॉट इज दिस अंडर दिस पंच मूरत योजना द स्कीम हैज कम्बाइंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ रिड्यूसिंग कॉस्ट थ्रू सेविंग वाटर एंड मैक्सिमम यूज ऑफ सटल एंड द लीव ऑफ शुगर केन्स स्पेरिंग यूज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड pesticides this will promote the cultivation of more than one crop for greater productivity it will enhance the income of farmers as well as controlling pollution as there will be no need to burn the leaves in the field i repeat this panchamurat yojana what was this yojana what what will this yojana do is under this scheme uh, they will help in reducing the cost through saving water as well as it will use the maximum use of subtle and the leaves of the sugar canes that were earlier burned now they will be converted into the pesticides and fertilizers all right means they will be used as a fertilizer in the ground instead of burning those leaves in the field the panch murat scheme intends to minimize sugar con- uh, sugar cane production cost while increasing the productivity and land fertility through five techniques which include an integrated trench method for sugarcane seeding ratoon management and trash mulching drip irrigation and co cropping the up government hiked the sugarcane support price by 350 rupees in advance of the last crushing season with 340 rupees for normal sugarcane and 350 335 rupees for species considered unsuitable All right I repeat the UP government hiked the sugarcane support price by 350 rupees in advance of the last crushing season that was 340 rupees for normal sugarcane and 335 rupees for species considered unsuitable Then friends the question that will be asked to you is that panch murat yojana this is of which state it is of Uttar Pradesh also remember under this panch murat scheme farmers will be awarded with उत्तम शुगरकेन फार्मर अवार्ड आई रिपीट फार्मर्स विल बी अवार्डेड विद उत्तम शुगरकेन फार्मर अवार्ड्स इफ दे आर सक्सेसफुल इन इंक्रीजिंग बोथ इन रिवेन्यू एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ शुगरकेन सो दिस उत्तम शुगरकेन फार्मर अवार्ड इज गिवन बाय विथ स्टेट उत्तर प्रदेश देन पंच मूरत योजना इज ऑफ विथ स्टेट इट इज ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश एंड इट इज फॉर वॉट इट इज फॉर इंक्रीजिंग द प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ शुगर केन एंड रिड्यूसिंग द कॉस्ट फॉर दोज सो यू कैन सी द ऑब्जेक्टिव द स्कीम हैज कम्बाइंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ रिड्यूसिंग कॉस्ट थ्रू सेविंग वाटर एंड मैक्सिमम यूज ऑफ स्टबल एंड द लीव ऑफ शुगर केन स्पेरिंग यूज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड पेस्टिसाइड्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज Arunachal Pradesh cabinet has approved the naming of the under construction greenfield airport as the Doni Polo all right what is the name of the greenfield airport now that is an under construction that is in Arunachal Pradesh it is Doni Polo airport highly important cabinet of Arunachal Pradesh approved the naming of the under construction greenfield airport as the Donio uh, Doni Polo Airport that is in Itanagar highly important this is the new name of the airport this or airport will begin operation on 15th of August in 2022 the airport will be able to accommodate 200 passengers during peak hours and will be the first in Arunachal Pradesh with a runway of 2300 meters suitable for operating Boeing 747 that is one of the largest passenger aircraft so what is the name of the uh airport greenfield airport that is under construction in arunachal pradesh itanagar it is donji polo this is the name of this airport now and this will be operated operational from 15th of august 2022 moving on next next is andhra pradesh government has signed an mou with nisg that is your national institute for smart government under this agreement nisg will assist the andhra pradesh government in preparation and the development of integrated land management system with advanced technology in fixing the boundaries important friends remember direct question will be asked to you from this topic that what is the name of the organization from along which andhra pradesh government has signed an mou for what for 
फॉर द प्रिपरेशन एंड द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड लैंड मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इट इज योर एन आई एस जी दैट इज योर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर स्मार्ट गवर्नमेंट हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद आंध्र आंध्र प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट फॉर द प्रिपरेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एन इंटीग्रेटेड लैंड मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी इन फिक्सिंग द बाउंड्रीज ऑल राइट इन ऑर्डर टू फिक्स दोज बाउंड्रीज ऑल राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस फ्रेंड्स रिमेंबर अ स्कीम ऑल्सो दैट इज वाई एस आर जगन्ना स्वास्थ्य भू हकू भू रक्षा स्कीम अंडर दिस स्कीम रिमेंबर दिस वॉज लॉन्च ऑन एटीन ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड इट इज अ री सर्वे प्रोग्राम टू स्टोर द डिजिटल रिकॉर्ड ऑफ लैंड थ्रू विच डुप्लीकेशन ऑफ लैंड रजिस्ट्रेशन कैन बी अवॉर्डेड आई रिपीट वॉट इज द स्कीम इट इज अ री सर्वे प्रोग्राम टू स्टोर द डिजिटल लैंड रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द लैंड थ्रू विच द री और थ्रू विच द डुप्लीकेशन ऑफ द लैंड रजिस्ट्रेशन कैन बी अवॉर्डेड दैट मीन्स अ सिंगल पीस ऑफ लैंड शुड कैन नॉट बी अवॉर्डेड रजिस्टर्ड इन द नेम ऑफ टू इंडिविजुअल पर्सन ऑल आई टू अवॉइड सच सिचुएशन अ री सर्वे विल बी डन ऑफ दीज पर्टिकुलर लैंड records digital resurvey of this land records will be done and digital records will be maintained all right through this scheme qr code based smart title cards will be issued to the land owners with the name of the property owner along with the unique identity photo and qr code for safe transactions all right so friends that's all for the day now we will quickly revise all the current affairs in one go center has launched a state university research excellence scheme to create robust research and development ecosystem indian navy's all women crew completes first independent surveillance mission over northern arabian sea pm narendra modi inaugurated and laid foundation stone of various projects of shrimad raj chandra mission in valsad gujarat highlights of the president's recently president of maldives ibrahim mohammad sholi visited india NHA National Health Authority has partnered with Quality Council of India to aggregate health solutions integrated with Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission Tamil Nadu Forest Department set up first of its kind urban animal rescue center at the Gindi National Park Chennai very important take a note next union rail minister has inaugurated badi sad badi sadri mavli gauch converted rail section then hdfc raises 1.1 billion dollar social loan for financing affordable housing projects max life insurance has launched three in one protection plan smart secure easy solutions ad port has partnered with adani group uh, adani ports and special economic zone limited and they have signed an mou for joint infra uh, joint infra investment in tanzania then french government has been uh, has honored indian publisher kanan sundram with chevalier award DRDO successfully test fired the indigenously developed laser guided anti tank guided missile and it was used it was tested from the which tank what is the name of the tank it is arjun tank that is your main battle tank then DRDO successfully test fired indigenously developed laser guided tank missile we just saw this south korea has launched its first spacecraft to moon and it was named as dhanuri and spacex falcon 9 rocket took this dhanuri into space China launched terrestrial ecosystem carbon monitoring satellite very important friends Assam government has signed four MOUs with HCL Walmart Flipkart on various fields UP government intends to boost farmers income through Panch Murat Yojana Arunachal Pradesh cabinet approved the naming of the under construction greenfield airport as Donyi Polo Aircraft that is in Itanagar Andhra Pradesh government has signed an MOU with NISG So friends that's all for the day now it's time for your homework first question is which union ministry implemented the saksham anganwadi and poshan 2.0 scheme second nationally determined contribution which is seen in the news recently is related to which field third which state launched the chief minister equal education relief assistance and grant scheme fourth as of august 2022 how many starters are registered in india fifth Vedant Vedantangal Bird Sanctuary and Kunthangulam Bird Sanctuary which were declared Ramsar sites are located in which state also now tell me how many total number of Ramsar sites are there in India because recently in yesterday's video i told you 10 new Ramsar sites has been added now you have to tell me the total number of Ramsar sites in 
India. So friends, that's all for the day. I hope you have enjoyed the session. If you want us to continue with such session and you have gained a lot of information from this particular session, then do comment below and let us know. So that's all for the day, friends. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day, friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel. And if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application, you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362. Apart from this, friends, you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end, friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.